Hey, Greek and Reek fans. <laughs> Greek here. <laughs> All right. How's everyone doing? Welcome back. Uh, Greek and Reek episode seven. Episode seven, indeed. Don't I forget it. my friend, Hello, co-host. I'm Reek. Reek that's, that's me. That is you. Um, hello. So, yeah, it's been a while. I know a lot of people will say that, you know, we didn't do a special episode during, you know, this this event right here. During DSG? I went to, <laughs> finally. I mean, that event that I got the same batch for. <laughs> that event right there. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> yeah, we got a lot to talk about, uh, especially considering that, you know, we love video games as much as you do. And there is a special event that's going to be happening in a week from now, like, you know, next week, probably. So, yeah, we got a lot to talk about, and I hope you guys are excited. Both uh, are happening next about, week. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're going to talk about VSG first. Yeah, uh, first of all, uh, yeah. just before the show, Tony was talking about uh, how we're both having bad ideas. Well, you, you already saw Tony's bad idea, even though he had a different, a more different idea. My bad idea is, put, is turning this podcast into ASMR. <laughs> it begins oh man I, I actually want this thing full stay hydrated everyone this stay is hydrated. important I got so many water bottles here this is how many water bottles I got with me <laughs> I'm a don't worry it's only water from the finest uh, Lipton iced spark. tea water yeah I mean I actually have, I have actual spark that's okay. a nice seat but nah um Am I... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it begins. Also, uh, one thing to note: there may be some technical difficulties uh, in terms of you know of my connection. So I apologize in advance for any issues. Um, you know, hopefully, hopefully things will be smooth sailing and we won't have any issues. But uh, with that being said, let's go. Let's get straight into BSG. Yeah. Uh, so I think. All, I, I could Go start. Uh, I arrived at the Friday setting up. We had so much time to get things done. And believe me, that was, that was needed just to like not stress at all. Mm-hmm. We could literally like build everything up, smooth sailing. Uh, yeah, what, what more can I say? That's literally it. And then on Saturday... No, no, on Sunday... This person, when the stream already started, he came late. Yes, you, Tony. I, I, I'm, I'm pointing down, but for me, he's down, but he's actually here. <laughs> you should just do like this. Just go like every every direction. Yeah, yeah. For, for me, it's different. Anyway, for, for me, like BSC Annual, it was amazing. It was big. Uh, but what was it for you? Like... You've never been to the Netherlands. You've never traveled on your own. You've never been to a speedrun event. Well, um, that's a lot of firsts. Yeah. So first of all, I just want to say that f- traveling was actually not that difficult. Uh, I, I was very intimidated at first because obviously, considering I've never been to the Netherlands before, um, it was a little bit of a hassle to actually get to where I was supposed to go because I didn't couldn't quite figure out how things worked you know not being a local there um but i did manage to actually go to the hague uh to meet yaoi for the first time which uh that meetup was actually really funny (laughs) it was i i don't even know how to describe it it was basically greek boy meets dutch taller than him yeah tall dutch boy tall dutch skinny boy i guess because you know he he was he's pretty pretty skinny yeah but um, yeah, so uh, after that point, we immediately went to the, uh, we didn't actually go right away because we had so much time. We were actually waiting for Nick, by the way, uh, Nick underscore, because, you know, he was supposedly going to, um, you know, uh, be with us, but he never did. Uh, he never did actually come with us. He actually went to the event straight away, uh, drove seven, I think seven and a half hours, was it? Something like that. Um, I don't know. Something something like it, yeah. Yeah, but um, uh, basically, 
the story goes that we went to the B&B, booked it, uh, left our stuff there, and then we immediately went straight to the event, which we got, you know, greeted by uh, Cruel. Uh, he he basically, you know, did a rapid test. That was mandatory that, you know, you had to actually get tested before you go to the event, which is understandable. You know, I'm not going to say that, you know, it's, uh, you know, it, shit sucks, like some people say. I don't care. Uh, honestly, I could care less about that. It was uh, pretty good that they actually took drastic measures when it came to that. So I'm grateful. Um, but yeah, after that point, uh, God, like, I don't, I don't even know what to say. First of all, the one thing I have in my notes is that I didn't expect Reek to be tall. And he was so intimidating. You guys have no idea. Like when I, when I came up to him after, I think it was like, um, I don't remember what run it was, but I think you were doing hosting at the time, right? I don't host. No, I mean like uh, tech shift, host. Oh yeah, okay. So, yeah, I, I, so I was on shift, yeah. Yeah. So I literally, I don't know how to describe it, but the, the best way I could describe it to you is that. He saw me, I saw him, and he just gave me this stank look like, what are you doing here? And I was like, I'm here for the marathon? You know, I paid 70 <laughs> bucks for a ticket. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Like, not come here? Like, but, um, yeah, like, uh, after that point, it was, it was so much fun hanging out with a lot of people. I just, I also want to say this because I've said it multiple times. I apologize to the amount of people that actually came up to me that know me for, you know, who I am because of Reek, but I didn't, you know, immediately know or recognize them because unfortunately, you know, I don't know everyone. So, I mean, I, was, I only, you know, I only knew 80% of the people as well. I mean, yeah, but still that's better than nothing. I knew like what two or three, five people maybe, but going out of the event, I knew like, half of the event i suppose but uh yeah okay. in general there's so many kind-hearted people that came up to me and i didn't really know how to respond because i frankly i just i you know i was i was shocked to be there if i'm being honest that's kind of uh the first day was literally me being tired and being completely shocked that i actually made it to the event in the first place because granted a lot of people say come on now you Travel to the yeah. Netherlands, of Come course, it was now. gonna you happen. Travel to the Netherlands, of course, you're gonna, it's gonna happen. I, I mean, I'm surprised you actually got to the Hague scot free, relatively yeah. scot free. But, uh, yeah, in general, it was so much fun. Uh, I the way I could describe it was that, yeah, at first, I didn't really know what I was getting into, considering that you know it's a speed running event, what's so you know crazy about it, but no, it was. It was so much fun. You guys have no idea. The amount of board games we played with um, so many people, uh, including Reek, by the way, which, fuck you, Reek. I hate you. No, I'm just I hate kidding. your face, too. I hate your face. But um, no, the the person I hate the most was actually Nick because he complained so much about me. <laughs> I think it's like... it's like Okay, okay. Bag. Anyway. Let, let's start. This man always complains. So it's, it's yeah. not about you. It's about everything in the world i guess but um yeah also as you can see the badge here it says attendee slash greek so i think you know what i'm getting into um uh, this man apparently, apparently i'm a bad man for uh, you know abusing my powers to have a little fun no but it was i will say regardless of how you know some things turned out um it, it was a lot of fun i had so much fun Best week of my life, best week of 2022 by far. Easy. Seriously, it was it was that fun. But uh, I also got some yeah. merch as well, which is really nice. Um, I'm definitely gonna wear I, these a lot. I got this. So, I got the same shirt, same color, even. Yeah. Um, uh, even more. Uh, something else. Like for me, it was a good week as well. It was pretty stressful. I recently got through all the the feedback, and we had a lot to discuss in the meetings. Next one is tomorrow. Help. But generally, the event went all right. There were no COVID cases at all. Which, uh, looking back at ESA, which was three week prior, uh, let's say that about twenty percent got a thing. Yeah. So without doing like those uh, rapid testing at the start, 
definitely helped. Hopefully. Uh, people have been okay. There was one person who came to the event and got COVID the next day. But obviously he got COVID elsewhere. But he uh, quarantined really quickly. I already spoiled the gender, but I guess like if 90% is a he, it's still pretty fake. Is, this, is that true? No, less than 90%. Is it? Less than, I don't know. Less than three. You know, yeah. the hard anyway, thing. from from like a big, from my point of view as an organizer, it went all right. We raised six and a half thousand for uh, Mind, which is fantastic, of course. Someone from Mind even came and had a panel to uh, talk about uh, mental health. That was just before we left to uh, to the village, Rijkold. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We'll talk about that later, but yeah. uh, that was also like pretty cool to see. Yeah, yeah, and everyone had, f or most people had fun. Yeah, it was like even for me. I I know I said this many times, but I swear, like a lot of people, they they tend to really just you know when they talk about speedrunning events, most of the talk is literally about the stuff you see on stream. But you guys have no idea how much goes behind the scenes as well, because I can assure you, even though BSG might be a small event, um, no, it's, it felt like a big event to me. Like regardless of the amount of people that showed up, the amount of activities you could do, like you could do so much like in a, in like the space we were, we could literally do anything, anything you could think about. You could just, you know, Want to know something fun? Last e uh, last event, last big event, mm -hmm. the rooms were swapped. So the stream room was the, was the gigantic room, and the uh, leisure room was in the other room. Yeah, I, I, I think someone told me about that. I don't remember who so, I think I'm, Zito I'm, told me. I mean, a, a lot of people agree with us that uh, swapping made way more sense. Yeah. F I had some doubts about like uh, the, the smaller room had the two pillars mm -hmm. in in the middle, which I was like scared of that it might like impede with uh, placing of tables. But fortunately, it didn't. One of the things that uh, was pretty awful is I built this giant flight case with a lot of things and a lot of cables inside of it. I was like, this is the last thing DST ever needs. It needs uh, a lot of revisions to the point where I'm literally just saying we need a Resetting 5X Pro because that is as plug and play as you can get in terms of video capture. We do have two of these in it, but I broke but I broke the uh, USB port. I broke the USB port on one of oh, them. Oh, man. That's okay. I mean, stuff like that happens, I guess. Um there definitely were points in the marathon that, you know, a lot of people might say, oh, what's with the downtime? Stuff happens, okay. you know? <laughs> Let's not talk about the run that I was in. So I did uh, a lot of tech shifts as well and audio, but I also did five speed runs. It started out, what did I do on Tuesday? Was that Mort? Uh, the first run? No, no, uh, my first run was Bowser's Fury versus... Yeah, uh, Bowser's Fury and then Mort, RD versus RDV versus the world. Actually, no, it was Snipperclips before Mort. Yeah, so it started out with Bowser's Fury. I won. <laughs> so it's 1-1, one, one, and we, gonna, we, we need a deciding race now. And then on Wednesday, I had three runs. First, Mort to Chicken, not too big of a problem. Except uh, for the part that... You know, before we started the run, we had some tech issues, but still, we managed to get through them, and the game Did didn't we? load the first try. You know, oh, that, that's I don't call that a tech issue. I don't call that an issue per se. I it, mean, it's more to chicken. It's known that it's not that doesn't always I think, load. I think the it's first it's charming though that it happened. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, much. I, I mean, it, it it happens more often. Yeah, I guess. Uh, Sniper clips after we got world record in that, but it's not that it's a contested category or anything. It, it was due. So shout out to the creator of Stay Hydrated Fox. And the last run was the one that had 45 minutes of setup. And it went like heavily overestimate. 
Well, no, no, no. Okay, so we had an estimate of 40 minutes. All our practice was like sub 32 minutes. But this one went to like 50. No, this one went to like 45. Something major like that. There was like, uh, we were pretty ashamed. It was phasmophobia together with Rusla and Kefil. Oh, yeah. That run was, um, I mean, I know it may have been like bad in terms of, you know, a marathon run, but it's one of those yeah. things that, you know, whatever, you, you can't really control everything sometimes. Oh, and shout outs to Grump Meister as well. For the commentary, yeah. Yeah. It was pretty uh, engaging. Some, something else. Uh, the last run that I did together with uh, Mr. Uh, this guy on commentary and Nicholas. Mr. This Guy on Commentary. Yeah, Mr. Tony. I did Blade, a three-hour run. And that went pretty all right. And was... I, I, I beat my PB yesterday by a minute. So, yeah. There's, GG, uh... by the way. I didn't say that. I'm yeah. sorry. I was kind oh, of hey, I, I just matched on Tinder. <laughs> <What are> you... <laughs> just so you know. Dude, you should you should just like say like to whoever you match like hey baby I got world record yesterday you want to come check it out like <laughs> anyway but um yeah in all seriousness um how did it feel to actually be I guess like commentary wise like some people might say like oh I've done like online commentary for runs how is it to be on stage quote unquote yeah how was how was it to be like not an actual couch. We didn't get a couch on purpose. I mean... Maybe, maybe next year. I mean, to be fair, regardless of if there was a couch, which if there was, I would have done a good couch joke, you know? Like, if you if you just, like, said, oh, yeah, so how does it feel to be on the, the couch? Uh, I'd be like, it's a pretty nice couch you got here, you know? Like, classic uh, couch jokes, but uh, meta jokes, mm -hmm. I guess. Um but um, you're a joke. I am a joke indeed. Um, but no, in all seriousness, though, um, I've never done a commentary uh, for a run live, especially with I know it may not seem as like too big, but like 8000 people watching sometimes um, at ESA. Uh, regardless, uh, it was so much fun. Like you have no idea. Although I do feel I want to add to the Mort run, I should have shut up. Like, like in some parts, I definitely spoke too much than I should have. Like in the cutscenes mm. portion, um, you didn't talk over the videos. That is fine. Yeah, but uh, you know, it was it was that that sort of thing where you want to explain a couple of things in the sense of you know it's a speed run, so of course we're gonna explain a couple of tricks. Mm. Um, but also because we want to have the story side of things play out as well, it is kind of difficult to balance, you know, commentary with, uh, uh, you know, with th the story, the cutscenes and whatnot, because it's it's so fast, like 25 minutes and 12 minutes without cutscenes, like it's it goes by really fast. So you can't really you don't have time to really, you know, explain that many things. You can you can do that uh, if you practice a lot. But considering that, you know. We've done so many runs of this game. Like, it's pretty basic. I'm not trying to say that, you know, it wasn't a good run or whatever, like, in terms of commentary and explaining. I think it was. Um, could I have done it better? Absolutely, for sure. But, dude, uh, dude, you know. You, you, you did fine. I guess. And I don't want, I don't want to hear you anymore. You, 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 did, you did fine, man. Okay. But for the Xenoblade run... Um, I think the story was a little bit different because I had no knowledge of any tricks or anything rather for, for Centiplade, but uh, yeah. it was so much fun though. Uh, having Nick and Reek, obviously Reek explaining everything and me and Nick are just like, uh, we had oh. like, uh, Oh, we had front page. So we had like 9,000 people watching for more to chicken. Yeah. Like that, that was insane. Uh, I don't know what to say. Like it was, Phasmophobia had died down to two and a half thousand. Snipper clips were rising with six thousand. It was insane. Um, I couldn't even believe it. And uh, I just want to say once again, because I've said it many times, thank you for giving me the opportunity to actually do this. Uh, you have no idea. This Dude, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming as well, all the way from uh, from Griekenland. Yeah. Or as or as we uh, just call it, Griekenland. 
Of course, man. It was fun. fun. Ugi was there as well. Yeah, Ugi was we, great we, on uh, hosting, by the way, for Xenoblade and for other yeah. games. Uh, his run as well. Uh, Hot Lava, I think. Was it Hot called? Lava and yeah. a thousand one spikes. Yeah, it was really good. Um, so yeah, what yeah. else uh, did we do? Right, so should we talk about Recult or should we... Are, are, are we talking about how intimidating I am? Because appar- apparently <laughs> I got guns. <laughs> So I, I sent I sent uh, Tony a picture recently of uh, myself taking a picture of a uh, shit. What do you call it? Of a uh, I was I was in oh, Germany uh, last in, week. Uh, mini golf. I, in a, yeah, I played mini golf, and I was making a picture of the the, the track, and apparently, and I mean, I don't have skinny arms. But like even Tony just pointed out to me how uh, like relatively big my arms were. <laughs> the guns, <laughs> like the, the pos- positive goods. Yeah, it was. I, I yeah, don't they're... know. This man, this man will definitely like not drop kick me, but like he'll he can definitely just kick my ass. Um... Oh, easy. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Hey, he's intimidating, guys. You have no idea. So yeah, apparently I I, uh, I looked at him a, f- uh, a few times too funny. I'll, I'll see if I can get the picture on the, on the stream. I will say also, um, I forgot to mention that. Um, speaking of the experience, I actually did record a lot of stuff. I did do a stream where I highlighted pretty much the whole experience, adventure, yeah. I guess you could say. So if you want um, the actual uh, scoop of that, go go watch that. Uh, I can link two it. hours. Yeah. Anyway, um, anyway, is there anything else that you want to mention? Because I recently got a job, don't have that much time, so that, that's unfortunate. But other than that, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. The only thing I want to say is um... also, also here's uh, here's here's a picture. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Look at the look at the guns. You have no idea. The, this man is like he he buff. He protect, he attack, but most importantly, he buff. Um, but yeah, no, the funniest thing was like, uh, you have no idea how many <laughs> he shredded. Um, you have no idea how many photos and videos um, that I took. And from videos. The event. Yeah, and videos as well. Um, that I took from the event that had some funny like caption from Reek. Like there was, there was like so many faces and like so many off like completely out of context things that you could just meme up and it was so fucking good like it was great um but uh yeah for those that do want to check out the um the whole vod unfortunately i'm not going to upload this to youtube or whatever but uh if you do want to check out the vod upload to youtube uh, (laughs) i'm gonna do that now um here you go, by the way. Uh, DSG experience. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it was a lot of fun. There were definitely moments where I really wish that me and Reek actually hanged out a lot more because granted, you know, we did talk and also do activities sometimes, but there were definitely moments where, you know, maybe he was busy with... Uh, tech shifts and he couldn't really you know join us or that he was kind of tired because you know it's definitely exhausting for sure um the more was, important thing to know is that uh, i had a lot of fun so even though i was busy i didn't feel like the event was overtaking all of my time yeah um but yeah i mean other than that uh what else oh yeah shout outs to i forgot to mention this shout outs to um Ronald, RDB versus the world, for actually giving me a 3DS capture card um, because, you know, he didn't really want it. So I was like, cool, I guess. Um, okay, so, so uh, yeah. you should probably know that Ronald owns like half of all the capture cards out there. Oh, you saw a capture card. I'm going to buy it. And then yeah. what do I do with this stuff? So yeah, now he, he finally was like, okay, uh, I want to sell it, preferably to people in the Netherlands. Well, Obviously, Tony doesn't fit the bill, but he is coming to the Netherlands, so that was perfect for him. Yeah, it was the the right like it was the best time actually to to get that. But um, 
yeah I, I was looking for a capture card for a long time so i was like you know what should i pull the trigger should i not uh i even discussed it with reek and he was like listen man it's up to you like what do you really want um and i was like i don't know yeah, to be the very good. best that no one ever Just was get no, one. But, uh, <laughs> get, get get one of these suckers what is that that's a 3ds this is a 3ds of course yeah so except it's not modded i'm sorry and i never I got, play on it i got this <laughs> you got the pikachu one <laughs> i got the pikachu but uh yeah honestly uh huge thank you uh because like even though even though i was kind of stupid because he was like hey do you want it now and i was because uh, at first i wanted to hang out with everyone talk about stuff um literally i just didn't let him know like hey you know you could give it to me right now so i don't have to bug you a lot of the time and uh, obviously he was kind of exhausted um in general from uh, other stuff so the most I important thing you know i let you eat cups long you did and i'll talk about that as well but uh in general thank you i i really appreciate it uh really uh and it works great so other than that Caps on. What about that? So we went to, I think it was day two, wasn't it? Or day one? Uh, day two, because on day, day one, two, yeah. I went, I don't remember. I When was H? H man was on day one. So you were, yeah, you were there in day two. And then I had my second Caps of the week. Yeah. Okay. So um, the first one was better, but, uh, but what? Yeah. So. Uh, I'm just going to explain how things went. So pretty much we went to a r restaurant, fast food place, I guess. Uh, I, I don't think it was a snack bar, was it? No, I don't think so. But uh, uh, are we? Uh, the thing that we went to was like a Turkish restaurant. Yeah, like a Turkish restaurant, I guess. So Reek was like, you know, he looked it up. It was like 4.4 stars. And he was like, it's good. It's fine. We went there. Yeah, it, it probably um, was fine. At least you could pay with pin there. Like, holy shit. Yeah, it's, that's it another sounds like, sounds like Germany if you can't. And I'm sorry for... Uh, I know that there are a few Germans here, but you can't pay everywhere with cart, and that is like a total minus. Um, yeah, there are some shops. I forgot to mention this. In the Netherlands, uh, some shops or only the know, supermarkets. Only the Turkish one as well. Yeah, like, like there there are some places that you need to have cash, which is kind of stupid considering you know you could just pay with your you know. Card I or haven't. Phone. I haven't had cash in so long. Like everything I do with card on my phone, which is the same thing. Yeah. We don't have a credit card, however. We yeah, have it's, like it's kind of silly, right? Like I don't know. Like you would think that you know the Netherlands they've they've had so many like things like including you know using uh cards for some stuff and then it's like of course some places they're like oh you need to have cash because we don't accept you know this card or that card it's like the fuck <laughs> why not anyway but um, maybe we shouldn't maybe we shouldn't complain too much i guess so yeah th that's fine but anyways back to what i was saying so we went there and um you know uh nick drove us there he was uh he was like i want to get a hawaiian pizza the nerd the oh, are you, are you literally ex man. you're literally exposing him i am yeah I, I i have to you know that that's how it is if i don't who's gonna do it but um no seriously yeah. though um we went there had a lot of fun also met green snow dog as well really cool guy um shout out so, to gsd yeah shout out to gsd um so we basically went there we ordered food i tried capsule for the first time it was pretty tasty <laughs> Didn't expect that. Um, but no, the funniest thing was that Reek was like, oh, dude, you could put tzatziki sauce, you know, like, and it's like, it's super good with capsule. And I was like, me. Being no, 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 no. That, that was uh, garlic sauce. Listen, man, you you said tzatziki sauce at the time. I'm holding you on that. But no, 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 no. no. Regardless. I mean, probably it wouldn't be too best. Regardless. That I mean, it was pretty tasty. That's all I'm gonna say. Nick, however, <laughs> didn't have a good time because his his pizza was like, you know, you know how Hawaiian pizza has pineapples, right? So you would think that okay, you know, it's a normal Hawaiian pizza. What's so wrong about that? Well, 
the pineapples were from a fucking can and it was so obvious because they were like chopped and uh yeah. did you expect them it, this was it's a snack like an, a glorified snack bar the actual snack bar that we went to was like amazing yeah it was, it was snack really bar. good but no like this that that restaurant like that turkish restaurant was like awful when it came to pizza even even nick was like so like i don't even know why i ordered this it sucks and i was like that's what you get for getting hawaiian pizza my dude <laughs> but um no in all honesty though it was a lot of fun really good uh, food snack bar um now that you mentioned it that we went i think we went two two times yeah we went twice yeah, twice once, um, once on the first day once on wednesday yeah so that snack bar was actually pretty good um i think uh, wait i think we went three times i mean i don't know if no we went together didn't we then i then i didn't join the third time probably anyway uh anyhow yeah um so yeah we went yeah. to that snack bar it was pretty good i tried frikandel as well i uh, forgot to mention that um which is good, good old frikandel it, it's pretty good um th there was like an xxl one but i was like probably not gonna go that far um <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, I tried freaking Dell. What else did I try that I, I am forgetting? Um, for, for those who well. don't, for those who don't know, this is a freaking Dell or free freaking Dell. Yeah. So I also tried, uh, oh yeah, I tried croquette as well, which, uh, I don't remember what it was with. It's, um, it's a, uh, a deep fried thing with like, how do you call it? No, no. I mean like what? the filling. Ragu, ragu, yeah, I think yeah, it was with ragu, but it, it's uh, like meat paste, but it could also yeah. be like something else, like uh, veggies. There's like, yeah, veggies, uh, shrimp, chicken, satay, could be anything. I think it was like with. I even cheese. had. Uh, those ones are special. We do we do have those the the cheese, not the cheese croquettes, but we got like smaller round croquettes which are called bitter baller yeah i didn't try bitter baller I, I wish i did though but you know it's and i can't try everything I, i've had those with cheese those are good you know what okay. the worst part is i do i just i can't remember what it was with like like i know i know for a fact that i i yeah, it was a should, croquette but i just don't remember what it was you, you should maybe it was a croquette you should know that like we dutch people we deep fry everything of course you do because you guys are weird weirdos you you have listen one of the things one of the things that i saw in a supermarket and i don't really understand this why the hell do you guys have pre-cut and you know marinated potatoes just like i get I get, oh yeah those things it's like i Easy. stand on one hand so you don't have to like uh like unskin the potato and then cut it it's mostly the first thing like I don't care about cutting and then marinating. It's yeah, always, it's always like cheaper if you need like a smaller portion. Listen, I understand if you need something fast, but it's like, surely something like a potato. I don't think it stays fresh forever. I, okay, I'm I, not sure. I should let I, you know that that like the typical Dutch meal is. Oh, I think I know. We we we, we have an abbreviation for this, an AVG like the antivirus an AVG. It's potatoes, aardappelen, uh vlees or meat, and uh groente, which means vegetables. So in English it would be like P P M P M V. Sure, let's call it PMV. But yeah, I like that's what I always potatoes with. and then a different kind of meat, which could also be chicken or fish. That's what we or, actually and made. like f veggies like uh chicory cauliflower I fucking love cauliflower uh I've never tried cauliflower uh, asp asparagus asparagus there there's another one that's like really good beans yeah pmp bean but uh deep fried ice cream what the heck <laughs> deep fried ice cream what the hell the, that that's that that just next sounds level. wrong that's next level um, but yeah, to, to be honest, we actually did have a... Just now that we're like on 35 minutes. Yeah, we should probably move on. But 
to summarize, yeah, what you said, we did actually have a meal like that at the B and B we stayed, um, which I actually made meatballs for the first time, and they turned out great. We didn't have any condiments though, so you know we didn't have any mayonnaise, we didn't have any ketchup, so it was kind of like. You can get those, but like big. We could, but it's you know, Yowie's like, oh, I don't, I don't eat it with you know anything else, and I'm like, the fuck, you eat it like just plain, plain meatballs, I, like. I what? laugh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I mean, if I make meatballs, uh, it's filled with aromat, which is like a condiment mix, mm-hmm. uh, mahi. Uh, Egg. What do you call those? Beschuit. I don't know what that the translation for that is. is there it goes a like lot, a lot of stuff in it. Ketchup. Yeah. Yeah. Hard bad breadcrumbs, I guess. But yeah, now we can uh, make it. We can make it a long one. We haven't done an episode in like forever. I guess. Um, but yeah, like, like the, the funniest thing so, was so that... much in meatballs. Uh, anyway, like it, it's pretty cool that you guys had an Airbnb with a kitchen. I had a hotel room, so I couldn't I couldn't like cook at all. However, it's literally worthless if you're uh how, how do I say this? Like if you're only planning to use the kitchen once because you don't have like anything around it, like oil uh, to to put in in the skillets. I'm holding out complaining, but I, I'm just gonna say this. It was great. The BMB was very nice, but the fucking pants and pots. They weren't for normal people. They were probably for like. Were they big or small? They were tiny as fuck, man. Like they were they were just like, what are you supposed to cook in them? Like, I swear to you, like we actually made it work, thankfully. But still, like, would it have hurt to just have like, I don't know, a normal fucking frying pan? It was like a frying pan that you would make, I don't know, crepe. For example like it was it was stupid it was so tiny but like even some of the pots like they weren't obviously most of them weren't made for you know uh frying potatoes or just like throwing them in the pan just you know cooking them a little bit so we had to improvise we actually used sunflower oil that was there i don't even know how long it was in the cupboard for but we actually I, I don't, used that and I, I don't think there's anything wrong with sunflower oil it is, I, prefer, but it's, I, pre- you know, I prefer it over olive oil. I guess, but it's like, you know, the, the way things were done, they, they were a little bit, you know, out of the usual, I guess. You know, it's not like, it's not the best not to have like an actual, you know, Okay, pot. important. Anyway. Was it out of the usual for you or was it out of the usual for even Yaoi? Even Yaoi said that, you know, like these fucking pots are just. I mean, I, I can I can understand those being small or they were lacking they were. Uh, but you know other than that like i said it was pretty good uh all like uh all around we had a lounge like you know living room i guess tv we actually played a lot of mario kart and smash uh at bsg it was a lot of fun oh, yeah Th- uh, about that this is really important Go for first it. of all you didn't even play it at the event which i hate you for what do you Just mean kidding Th- uh did. Tony and I did race in Mortar Chicken and in Ape Escape too. That's the the most important race. There were pictures on my Twitter and on the more Discord than the Ape Discord. Oh yeah, I don't think they were on my Discord, but we can always fix that. Yeah, it it was pretty fun. People were impressed with uh, my PlayStation Two, which obviously is pink. Like, not even a. Not even a little bit. It's it's a pink PlayStation 2, man. Of course, it's going to catch eyes. Like, you know, it's pretty good. Are you kidding me? You know how what I would give to just have a pink PS2 that's mod chipped as well? My PS2, you know, it's, it's so much more pink than I thought. <laughs> it is. It is. But um... Fun fact. If you ever went to, if you ever looked at ESA in early 2020, uh, like when the co- when COVID started, they played their ESA trailer, and you would see fuzziness play on this controller. That's oh, this. Con- that's this Case? controller. Yeah, no, it's mine. Oh. He, he also played on my PlayStation because he literally asked me, "Yo, can you bring all my stuff for this PlayStation run?" 
I was like, sure. I even had to burn the game for him. <laughs> That's cool. But um, it was, it was yeah. Pepsi, man. It was worth it. I I literally just put myself on on the seat next to him just because. And uh, some person, I know who it is. I'm not gonna spoil it, but some person sat in between us with uh, what do you call it? He sat in between us in a Pepsi Man suit. Why have not? Why have I not seen this run? I need to see that run. You have to send it to me. Okay. Um, but yeah. So, like Reek said, yeah, we did do a race. Um, unfortunately, for me, uh, I didn't play as well. Uh, unfortunately, I was just like completely out of practice in both games, considering that. The week prior to the event, we had so much, um, so much stuff I had to just, you know, get down to and just figure out and, you know, not really mess things up that I didn't actually manage to get any practice in. Even like before we did the race, you know, I didn't even have time to practice anything. So um, it was kind of like, I'm just going to wing it type of thing. It was a lot of fun, though, regardless of if I lost. Um Reek also threw as well. He, he I, I, like, yeah, I, I had some bad luck happen to me as well. No, but you played really well, though. Like, I, I wish I could play a lot better, but it's it's one of those things that, you know, I'm not really used to just, you know... I, I, like, I guess it, I was out of my comfort zone, and a lot of people also, like, lined up to watch us play, so I wasn't also used to that sort of, you know, crowd, a small crowd, but still a crowd nonetheless. Um but again, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. And I really wish that we did do a lot more races like that. Um, maybe, I don't know, with other games as well. But uh, still, hey. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you asked me yesterday to play uh, to race Kingdom Hearts. Actually. No way. Did you find it? <laughs> oh, no, no. That's Kingdom Hearts 3. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say. Could you imagine? Like, it just I, I, happens now in the episode of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw Kingdom Hearts, but I was like, wait, what? But it was Kingdom Hearts uh, free. We could write Kingdom Hearts free, but I think you know the speed run, so it's unfair. Or yeah, new I mean, run. I don't know the critical any percent, but, you know, crit is, uh, uh, from what I know, at least Endgame is not that fun. But anyways, um, rambling aside, race did happen. We didn't actually do it live, though. Like, we didn't stream it or anything. It was mostly just, you know, anyone that was in the event which i do know that some people might be a little bit annoyed by that because we could have just i don't know shot a video or something but considering that reek also had to take some time i i think you actually asked someone to cover for you didn't you or were you like free for like a little bit i asked someone to look at the bsg tech for a little bit since i needed yeah. to go out and talk with someone yeah so but I I, ne I never I never asked for like full shift coverage. Okay, but yeah, you get the point. Uh, because Reek was super busy, and he wanted to do this. Um, I wasn't going to force him. Like, hey, can we do a video? Can we stream this somewhere? It's like, yeah. it's oh, also I, yeah. I lost my uh, my little uh, my little microphone. Saddest Samson. day of my life. Oh man. Yeah, the I, Samsung. I didn't. I didn't really know. Didn't you say like it was one in one the? It it yeah. yeah I, I I literally said that was in my back, but I was straight up lying at that point. Oh man, Un fun. unknowingly, unknowingly. I will say, um, next. It's like event, hey, it's it's always there, you know. <laughs> it's like yeah. in the secret pocket of my like here, like. <laughs> yeah. Ne ne next time we'll literally do one at one point. Okay, next time I'll actually be a better prepared because this year I actually like packed so many clothes that I didn't even fucking wear. So with that knowledge out of the way, I will definitely pack probably like I, I might get a shotgun mic, to be honest, because I don't want to have like a wireless mic pack. You know, it would be a lot better. But at the same time, like too much, too, too much setup time, something simple, you know, shotgun mic, um, or we could just have like, you know, uh, wireless mics that we could just hold like handheld mics that also works but anyways um besides all that we did, like i said we did do a race uh we also played uh again mario kart with a lot of people uh 
Nipia was actually, uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced that name wrong, but um, actually joined us for some of the races. Snowdog won every match. I Snowdog is a god gamer. You can't do anything. I don't know. Uh, listen, listen, I'm not upset. I'm not upset. But how the fuck does, how does he do it? How the hell does he do it, man? Like every every single freaking match, whether it was Smash, whether it was Mario Kart, he's like, "Oh yeah, I went to tournaments," and I was like, "Also, I, I totally did not play any Mario Kart that whole week." You didn't, yeah. I was also yeah. like, I, I think I asked you, didn't I, or some like Smash? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Or Team Fortress Two, I think it was. Uh, I don't remember what it was, but like. It, I just don't know. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, this man, he's too good. He is oh. so, like, oh. Uh, this is also important. Watch out. I'm going to put a big picture in here. This, this was from the, uh, what do you call it? From the, uh, not Time Crisis. Uh, quick and Crash. Quick and Crash. Quick and Crash. It was from the Twic and, Quick and Crash tournament. You can see Nick on this score holding... Holding the gun, uh, holding the gun. <laughs> uh, Green Snowdock on the left, Tony next to him. I don't know who that is. Uh, yeah, and obviously I'm making the picture, but yeah, the, the, the quick and crash. Yeah, Tony and Tex officially of... officially met. Yeah, it was it was really crazy. Like you have no idea. Um, like. That tournament was actually so much fun, but like, holy shit, I really wish that, you know, I had played a like light gun game in my life because this was like legitimately no clue what to expect. Uh, it was completely out of nowhere, really. I didn't expect to just participate in it, but uh, holy shit, it was so much fun. Yaoi was actually, I want to say this, he was so good uh, at this that we wanted to get food at the time. Everyone was super hungry and we were literally waiting for Yaoi to either lose or win the match. But because of that, we just kept like waiting and waiting and we were just like, dude, we're going to die. We're going to fucking die before we like get food because of Yaoi. But um, to his credit though, he did actually win third place along with Snowdog, which came in a close second. Uh, he, Snowdog was actually about to win as well. Which is really funny. <laughs> he's he's also really good at this game. I don't know how he's okay. he's a god gamer, I guess. But um, yeah, uh, speedrun events are wonderful. Do uh, be cautious with COVID. I don't want to like throw throw ESA like in the in the thing, but it's like undeniable that they had a really unfortunate set of events happening at their events. In terms of COVID, also, and um, I'm happy. I'm happy that most events that they have a mask mandate. Oh man, that they have a mask mandate. Yep. And oh. even though BSG did not have a mask mandate, we obviously welcomed all the masks that uh, that were there. And uh, yeah, we did have a test like before entering. Uh, and let me yeah. see if I have uh... zero zero actual panic happened. I also didn't hear like any reports of people getting COVID after the event, which is like definitely possible. Yeah, like it was it was actually super su I, I don't want to say lucky, but it was like really good that you know whoever attended, um even me, like I was actually like kind of a little not scared per se, because you know I've dealt with it before but it's like it's one of those things that you don't really know Even what to Tony. expect you know but uh can't can trust can't trust tony also um i got a picture of ugyu uh in his uh final form i want to say this it's was fine. Uh, his final form we were playing power flux here and uh let's just say that this picture is um oh pirate flux yeah <laughs> it's super fucking good i don't know like the <laughs> This man's a I, genius. I'm gonna buy Zombie Flux next time. I th this copy of Pirate Flux definitely is like 
Also, oh, I got a... Oh, that... Oh, yeah, you missed a picture of me putting the gun in my pants. I'm sorry. Yeah, I wanted to take a picture, like, right as Reek did it, but I, I didn't get it in time, unfortunately. I think this was, yeah, probably with... Uh, my phone, I think. I don't know if it was my uh, my camera. I do have another picture of Reek um, with his alcohol collection here. Oh, you. <laughs> Look at this man. Look You're at this man. <laughs> and he calls me an alcoholic. Me. What do you have to say you about are, that, chat? You are an alcoholic. Look at this face. This is this is a memeable face right here. I, I think I think it lost by reflux. There you go. This is super funny, dude. I don't like I as much as I say that Reek is intimidating, um he pulled so many like funny faces. I don't know how, but like <laughs> just every time, every time. Whether that was like Nick, Yaoi, whoever, like, you know, was taking pictures either with my camera or, you know, me, like, like even this, this image is like, it just doesn't get better than that. Like, Still talking about me. Look at this man. Just give him, give him an advertisement. He will advertise the shit out of your product. Look at that. This is like, this is like the worst picture to uh, show of me. Why? Right, what do you mean? Um, but yeah, yeah this, I'm literally this, searching for my back and I can't find it. This, this I can't, picture is also mean potential right here. I can't find Pirate Flux either. Okay. Oh my god. Anyway. Those are tasty. I literally asked in Discord before the event, yo, can a German like take these pretzels? Anyway, uh, we should probably... Move on, yeah. Yeah, should we talk about TGS? Because you want to talk about it. I mean, we could, but we also forgot something really important, which I think you will agree. What, what did we forget? Then, but I killed. We didn't talk about the restaurant. Don't go there. Why? It's terrible. Isn't it, isn't it important? What do you mean? People have to know. They, they probably will ask, like, hey, how was that restaurant of yours that you own? What yeah, are you going to okay. say? Oh, yeah, that didn't happen. So th there is a restaurant that has my name on it. I've been looking at it ever since I was like 10 years old because they had the domain ricot.nl. And uh, they literally insulted me by asking me if I came from Urk. But yeah, we drove like an hour to and an hour from uh, just to like take pictures of, hey, look, it's me. Also, I, I I got I got pictures of that. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Didn't you say like to the, the? Was it the staff that you were like, you know, hey, I have the same name. Like, what do you, what do I get? Yeah, like, yo, I, I have the same name. Also, <laughs> also, this, this picture is photoshopped. Oh my god. Oh yeah. The. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that picture is so. Funny, also, right? also, I'm I'm gonna do something else. Uh, actually, first of all. Uh, continue, continue. Anyway, but uh, yeah, we went there, and um, I will say that the food was actually pretty good. Um, you know, considering I'm, I, I guess it was like a, a restaurant, so like you know, it is food after all. But uh, the chairs were actually really uncomfortable. I don't know why. Like they were like super, like for tiny people, I guess. Like I don't know what the people there are like, but you know, the the chairs they sit on, I guess, is uh, not exactly the most comfortable thing but um yeah it was like <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the image <laughs> told you it was photoshopped here also I, or the, uh, the the jojo one i'm sorry this picture is so funny <laughs> i can't um but yeah we went there and um shout out to lord got, mouse by the way yeah shout out to lord mouse but um it was actually really cool the one thing i will say if you do decide to go there and venture on your own, you will probably find a wasp, as we did. Um, oh, yeah, we were literally trying to eat, and there was a wasp, and you know, I, I, I have a story about that. I when I was at uh, where else is when I was at Germany last week, 
we were eating some uh, some Bilo uh, like Turkish foods in the back of uh, Halogen's uh, thing next to the pool. We were just eating that randomly, and Joshimas got attacked by the wasp like all the time. There was another Dutch guy who also was relatively scared. But hey, I don't have sauce, so they don't come to me. Joshman literally walked around the uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and and I was there like, okay. And then the wasp came on my finger. It was like, uh, hello, can you go? Bye. Apparently, I'm not as I've n- I've never been stung by a wasp, so I don't have the phobia. I guess. I mean, I will say, as someone that did get stung by a wasp when I was a kid, it's not fun. Uh, it's definitely not one of the most pleasant things, and you will definitely be annoyed with the pain that you know it causes. It's not like, oh okay. my god, it's so bad, but it's uh, you know, um, it's yeah, it's not pleasant. It definitely so, hurts. Should we skip the uh, th- TGS? I mean, we could just talk basic stuff, but uh, if you want, I mean, to. you you want to talk about it? All right. We, so, we gotta we gotta save the episode. Keep it on track. Okay. So important stuff, guys. We're done with PSG. It was a lot of fun, but I'm pretty sure you guys are ready. Sorry, are not ready for what's about to happen uh, next drops? week. Oh. Frame drops. Oh no. Oh yeah, I'm um, dropping some frames. Internet. I don't know. It's fine. Uh, but um, yeah. So next week, next week being the 15th of uh, September. That's uh, on Thursday. We do have a Tokyo Game Show that's going to include a lot of, you know, familiar faces, I guess. Um, there's also Prime Gaming on the schedule. I don't know why Jeff Bezos uh, is going to make an appearance in a Tokyo Game Show, but okay. Oh, um, uh, because because Amazon, I don't think he will be there, but like Amazon is uh, trying to get into the gaming market. I believe they also think, yeah. will have one of those uh, streaming services like Google Stadia. Yeah, most likely. I mm. I hope, I hope not, but uh, there's no, definitely no, going to be a lot of... They're, they're going to do it. You, you, <laughs> you, you can't stop them other than pay with your wallet. <laughs> or phone with your wallet. New streaming service, Luna 2. Like, I don't know. But, oh, yeah, uh, Luna. Yeah, that's, that's the word. But, um, yeah, there's also Microsoft, apparently, uh, having a, you know, uh, a conference. Bandai Namco, Capcom, 505 Games, Koei Temco, you know. Uh, Sega, also, which I, I, sh- I should mention that uh, Microsoft being at the Tokyo Game Show is relatively weird because you know how in the US and here in Europe there's this war between well, war in back in the PS3 and 4 era, there was this war between the Xbox and the uh, PlayStation. Now, Microsoft is like so big that they're kind of stopping the war, they're uh, bringing out all their games on PC as well. Yeah. And basically, the bo- the console is literally just a thing like for a little small computer at home. Whereas PlayStation, they're starting to do it, but they're a little bit slower, obviously. Yeah, that's like the, the war is over. But like back in that day, uh, where where there was a war and it was basically fifty fifty in Japan, uh, it was basically a done deal. PlayStation was up here. And I guess there were some Xboxes, but generally it was Nintendo and Sony ruling Japan. Dude, they did a 180. Like, that's that's the, the way I see it. It's like Microsoft used to be, like, I want to say, like, in the middle, but now it's, like, on the top. Like, they've, they've pretty much won everyone's, like, you know, I don't want to say hearts, but they've definitely like won over against against uh, you know PlayStation. But uh, yeah, so we have a lot of companies. Square is also making um, appearance. Yeah, Konami do, as well. Do you know? Do you know anything yeah. about uh, like the Tokyo Game Show? Is pretty big. Games? Yeah. But anything specific, or is it literally just hey, uh, watch out for it. I mean, there's definitely some games that have been confirmed. I think from Square's side, uh, Final Fantasy 16, I think, is going to be making a, an appearance. Uh, so a lot of the games they've already confirmed that they will appear, but you know, a lot of people speculate perhaps you know Kingdom Hearts might make an appearance, but we don't know for certain. Uh, for however, Kingdom do Hearts look 4, forward. Hopefully. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but do look forward to that. Uh, you know. 
the Tokyo Game Show because there's a lot of uh, announcements and a lot of publishers that apparently you know are going to appear, um, including Capcom as well. <laughs> you know, they're probably going to talk esports again. I don't know, but yeah, uh, super exciting stuff for video games. Um, also, in other gaming related news, let's go ahead and talk about. Something that's happening next week, probably. Most likely. Rumors. M definitely inbound. most likely. Uh, the Nintendo Direct, which is the other side of the spectrum. Yeah. So, uh, probably going to announce the Switch Pro. Yeah. So, no. <laughs> Apparently, this <laughs> might have already happened if it weren't for, uh, well, the, the passing of the Queen. Yeah. Still, uh, giant condolence towards the UK, but let's not. This is not what the podcast is about. It isn't, but rest in peace. Uh, yeah. Um, so it's probably going to be announced Monday or Tuesday, and it's happening the day after. That's how directs usually go. And the only things that uh, is probably going to happen is the Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker HD and Princess uh, Twilight Princess HD getting to uh getting to the switch the only games except for game and wario to not leave the wii u oh my god that's <laughs> and that's i am crazy. really i'm really hopeful that uh item sliding is still in so that we can actually do like there's no reason for me to keep my two wii u's like literally none Honestly, you know what I really wish that I, I don't think we're going to see anything, but still, like, Breath of the Wild 2, maybe? I mean, we've barely gotten any news on that game. I mean, considering that they did it, say it, that, you know. It would fit with uh, the other Zelda news, of course. It would fit. I mean, even the uh, yeah. sneak peek, I mean, sneak peek at this point, like, you know. I'm expecting some Pokemon news as well for whatever reason. Oh yeah, the uh... and, and maybe even like uh, Splatoon news or yeah, you know Splatoon, Splatoon released yesterday. Um, what else could there uh, could there be? I you know what I really wish and I would hope. What about native ports for Kingdom Hearts, which I don't think is going to happen, but maybe you never know. Um, it Oh, I know I know that it's not going to happen because they would have done so from the start. Yeah, most likely. Um, other than that, I mean, I, I would venture to guess maybe on like a PC title that might, you know, hit uh, the Switch. I know Nier Automata is also like uh, releasing, I think, soon. Yo, I love Switch. Nier Automation. Automation, yeah. Um, it's, Nier uh, it's pretty good. Automato. You know. <laughs> Automato. Automato. Uh, but yeah, like many many PC games might also show up on the on the Switch because we've actually seen a lot of uh, a lot of titles. I think uh, what else was it um, PC wise? I, I know there was like another title that was on PC that will release on Switch. Can't remember what it is, but uh, yeah, in general, there's there's definitely a lot of stuff that's on the table. Uh, maybe a Fire Emblem game as well. I'm thinking we might see. You never know at this point. I don't know. I think they recently did something uh, mobile related with it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I just know that, that's, that the Zeldas are most likely to get a release or a literal release from the Wii U. Other than that, uh, I don't think I'll get it unless uh, there is item sliding in yeah, the Wind Waker. And if, uh, it is, if it isn't, uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I think other than that, we probably Why will see. Uh, we'll probably see like uh, Mario Kart Booster Pass. You know the, the course pass, whatever. Uh, more courses probably getting revealed, most likely. Other than that, yeah, I don't. I don't really have anything else, um, like speculation wise, that I could think about. Perhaps we might see like more nin like uh, what is it? Uh, not virtual console, but like. Um, SNES, NES, maybe N64 games, you know, popping up. Considering that they are really going out of the way to add uh, a lot of uh, Nintendo 64 titles on uh, virtual virtual console again, uh, on uh, 
the expansion pack. So who knows? Other than that, yeah, I think uh, I guess we'll see what the future holds for Nintendo Direct. Um, yeah. Should we move on? If you want to move on. I mean, unless you got anything else you want to add. Not that I know. I'm I'm like really empty about what could happen. They had like some pretty good releases. Xenoblade Free, of course. Platoon Free release yesterday. I know. Nintendo never ceases to amaze sometimes. Obviously, uh, I'm not trying to say that in a, oh, they're super, they do everything well. But yeah. Uh, Switch 2 when? This is like... How old is the Switch? Five and a half years by this point? Yeah, it's. I really wish that Nintendo would just pull the trigger and just do a Nintendo Switch Pro. Like, they've they've also like. They should, no, no, they sh- I shouldn't call it the Pro. That's that, that's an Apple thing, and that's even a stupid thing. Yeah, I, I, I Switch Pro. I mean, like, as in you know, an advanced Switch that has better hardware. In that sense, I'm not. Of course, they're not gonna do a you know Switch Pro per se. But, I love um, how I disappeared. You know, it's fine. My Chrome browser just crashed. Nice. Oh my God. It's okay. It's fine. I think I think it's uh, it's all good. Um, <laughs> yeah, Reek Reek just uh, he disappeared. There's OLED. Yeah, but the idea is that it's no, not he, about Tony person. wants Tony wants something that the whole gaming world hated. You know how that there's a 3ds. And then there's the 3DS, the new 3DS, which is basically the same thing, but it has like some extra things that only the newer ones. So you had to buy a whole new system, which is basically the same system. Tony wants to watch the world burn. No, I don't listen. Listen, that's that's a blunt way of putting it. And let me explain myself. There's obviously, if you guys are not living under a rock, there's a big competition right now with the portable computer market like you know the steam deck has released there's obviously things like the aya neo and there's so many companies that are trying to make portable computers that play pc games there's also been like what is it a gpd uh win max to i think what it, whatever it's called that actually is able to also stream so stuff like that i'm not saying that i want to see a god forbid i don't want to see like a nintendo console being a computer but I the, di- would... the difference with that is that Nintendo's strategy would probably be to keep it uh, affordable. Like the Switch was and still is 330 bucks. I mean, yeah, but it's like the, I think we're just kind of drawing a line somewhere because like you have to consider obviously I mean, most of the Switch games the Steam Deck you know. is around the same price point, like I I get you there. Yeah, no, but I mean, like, in terms of, like, some games just being accessible on the Switch, because I'm I'm pretty sure that, you know, the main reason as to why the Switch is successful is because it's a portable console. And obviously, when, you know, competitors actually hit that market, they really have to step things up, maybe do something different, you know, or maybe try to outcompete everyone else. I'm not saying that they need to have... The greatest of hardware. That's not what Nintendo is known about. It's more the simplicity and flexibility of things. You know, how the Wii was able to just, you know, create some device that would use infrared sensors that would mimic certain things in real life. So stuff like that. You know, if we could just see some evolution, I suppose, to the Switch that wouldn't necessarily only be hardware related, but also maybe software related. You know, that's all I want to add to that i'm not of course, like whenever i mention switch pro i'm not just saying the hardware i'm also speaking in terms of you know there's some things that the switch doesn't do for example you can't make like you can make folders quote unquote but they're not you know actual folders like you can't really organize stuff um what else there's no internet browser as well no one has talked about that like i get why there isn't for piracy reasons but it's like come on now what if you want to use, you know, the browser on your Switch? You can't do that. Um, One of the reasons why the browser might not be in is because that was an entry point towards uh, Wii U soft modding. Even then, like, I'm pretty sure there's definitely methods of just, you know, not letting people do that. But it's it's one of those things that just kind of buff, like baffles me a little bit. Like, 
you have I a mean, console, right? Like even even Bluetooth audio was not a thing until what was it, 2020? Like 2022, I think. 2021. I don't remember when it yeah, you know got added. Pretty pretty late, but even then. Uh, it's relatively unusable. I tried to like yeah. play it on. I tried to use it at one point, and it was pretty delayed for yeah. a visual novel game. Yeah, that's but the thing. Before you like... say, "Oh, Recall plays visual novel," even you played Phoenix Wright. Shut up. Yeah, but it, that's kind of the thing. That's what I'm really getting at. It's like, it's cool that we have the option for most things with the current, you know, Switch. Uh, that there is, you know, even the OLED is pretty good and it's very nice looking and whatnot. But I'm pretty sure I speak for everyone when I say that I really wish that there were some improvements, uh, not only just the hardware, but also the software side, because in general, I do feel like there's something missing, you know, like even Bluetooth audio, you can't use two, two or more devices when you're connected with Bluetooth headphones. And like Greg said, the audio is delayed, even like regardless of how close you are to the device, which I think that just leaves a bad impression to me. Like I, I'm not going to use Bluetooth audio, if I'm being honest with you, but that's kind of the thing. I just, I wish that there's improvements made, like for how the console is shaped up. It's definitely great. You know, I'm not knocking on it. I'm not saying that it's not aged well or whatever, but I would love to see a lot more. Like that's all I'm saying, really. But other than that, I mean, maybe, you know, stuff added to the uh, Switch Online stuff, you know, like Expansion Pack released N64 games. What about GameCube? What about Wii games? You know, think about that. There's like a sensor bar inside the Switch. We could eventually I, I see think, that. I think, the, uh, would it be a problem? It wouldn't be that much of a problem. The games are relatively small. I mean, if the games are like small in size, I, I don't think it would be that much of a problem, but think about it i mean They're... for uh for the wii i have an argument to make the wii mode you, you have to make that uh parable i mean i guess but it's like maybe not wii games but like what about gamecube like gamecube has never really gotten any sort of you know virtual console thing like you've gotten wii virtual console technically but not virtual console, but like you could buy some Wii games digitally on Wii U as far as I'm aware. But, you know, regardless, there's definitely a lot of stuff that I know some people say. So oh, but, to, you know, uh, to, su to sum it all up before we go into like forever uh, talking about, yeah. you just want to see an evolution of the Switch. Like I yeah. definitely think that the, the Switch is a wonderful device. I definitely see that the future will also go that way. But you, like, I don't want to see the evolution. Actually, this thing was a revolution. Like, let, let's let's call yeah. it that. This let's was this was a, it was a good thing. Yeah, it went to like small and portable. Doesn't really care about power. That is Nintendo's strength. I do want to see an upgrade with better software and whatnot. Maybe uh, backwards compatibility is always good. But I don't want it to be whatever the new 3DS was. That yeah. was like I I bought it because no good reason actually. <laughs> but I bought the only game that I bought for that thing that I couldn't play on a normal 3DS was Xenoblade. Yeah, there were there were some other games. Uh, it was actually. New 3DS uh, exclusive games. There were some games. Uh, Binding of Isaac, Pixel Hunter, Wind of Night, Run by Pocket, uh, some Monster Hunters, Codename Steam, Hyrule Warriors Legends, Sent in the Bar's Curse. Oh, those are enhanced. Uh, yeah. SNES VC apparently can all only be played. Minecraft. Yeah, the only game is seen by Chronicles. Everything else, and I mean, the Smash Bros. 3DS had like some things added to it, but like nothing that yeah, wouldn't nothing be revolutionary. Like, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It, it's literally just a hey, you have an extra button. Oh, Retro City Rampage DX as well. I mean, that's I'll kind of thing. Miku Project DX. Anyway, uh, just just to yeah. sum it up, I want a new console, the PS1 to the PS2. Yeah. 
I that's kind of the the sentiment I have as well. I just want to see a new console, not like the how the 3DS was, you know, done, but I just want to see a new console with more features than we already have, which are decent enough. I'm not saying that it, there isn't anything to the Switch, but I I would love to see that evolve further or taken further than it already has, you know. That's all I want. But of course, not titles that only run on the Switch, the evolutionary Switch that is the Switch Pro or whatever. Like that? No, don't do that. Just make things that work for both consoles. Don't make things that work only for one console. Like, you know, anyways. But other than that, yeah. Um, I think that that's pretty much it. So what do you want to add, Reek? You got any tips? Uh, before we go into the tips... We added the new segment, like, out of nowhere yesterday. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. I, I forgot about that. <laughs> we're, we're always going to laugh about the Florida man of the day. That, that's, of that's what we're going to call it. Florida, Florida man, man of, of the yeah. day. I, I'm going to Google it right now. Flor uh, what's the date? September 10th. 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 Uh, September 10th. Uh, what, what Florida man is? An idiot. There's always a headline about a Florida man doing something weird. I remember watching uh, this podcast, video podcast, whatever you want to call that. Uh, uh, sc side scrollers, that's from Screw Attack. You might know Hard News, you might know where Angry Video Game Nerd came from and some, uh, Death Battle. You, you might know them. If not, what, whatever. Anyway. Uh, they they had their podcast. They had three segments: I, gaming news, a little bit, and just random news topics to talk about. And I kid you not, forty percent were from Florida because they only took American news. So September tenth, two thousand twenty-one, Florida man twerks for officers, gets tasered. Oh, during traffic stop, get taste, report says. So a man just oh works God. for the... Okay. Here's another one. Naked Florida man causes fire while baking cookies <laughs> on George Foreman grill. What the fuck? Could you just... <laughs> what the hell, man? Come on now. How how do you fuck this up that badly? Police say he had been drinking and smoking pot all day. Oh my god, of course. Yep. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh do we have another September 10th? Yeah, 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 yeah. You do? Oh, there's That's a good. website, ifloridaman.com. Oh, seriously? All right, I'm going to check it out. We should use this website. Uh we should. Florida man charged with impersonating an officer after allegedly pulling over off-duty Orlando cop. My God, this oh. like th that's the funny thing. People always assume I'm pretty sure like that Florida man is just one Florida man, but it's like no, it's multiple. I don't know why they don't. I don't know why they call it Florida man and not Florida men. But okay, you know, Florida Florida people are the weirdest. I had one in my house like two uh, two months ago. Powdered milk, dude. Florida man throws alligator through Wendy's yeah. drive through window. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that's the one we read yesterday or not two days oh ago. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. We did. Oh my god. I just saw that. Oh my god. Florida man steals ambulance. Yep. That's also I, I, normal. I got news on the Tinder date. Uh, I got unmatched, apparently. Nice. Sad. Sad. No more video games, huh? Florida no more video man games. wears okay. a anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, Florida so, man he headlines. Here's a Florida man that, uh, that you needed to laugh with. Next. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, let's... Uh, before we ending it off, we're going to be going into our tips. Like, what kind of content are we leaving you? Or any, like, recommendation of, like, any kind? Do we leave you for the weekend? Even though it is weekend, but, you, you know. Do you want to start off or should I? Uh, I guess I could start off. Um, first of all, the biggest tip, uh, I would say go watch, go watch all the BSG marathon speedruns. 
so much fun, so much variety. You probably will find something cool. You will probably find a Greek man and a Dutch man uh, talking about something, something video games. And uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, for actual tips, uh, I don't, I don't really have anything else really. Just you know, check the marathon, BSG marathon, or Benelu speedrun and gathering. I think on YouTube, but just type BSG marathon, and you'll find it, and uh, watch all the BSG annual twenty twenty two. You know, YouTube dot com slash c slash BSG marathon. I don't think you even need to do the c. That's okay. Just BSG marathon, I think works. Uh, but yeah, you should definitely check the runs out. They're really good. Does this work? And yeah. It does. Yeah, cool. Okay. Nice. I've been watching back like uh, some of the VODs um, in general. But uh, yeah, I mean, even the Xenoblade run, so much fun. Um, and thank you and, to whoever and... donated to hear us say, I'm really feeling it. <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah, Tony, Tony will find you and uh, no, just kidding. Well, I, I second that. Second, secondly, uh, I do have an, another tip. So I've been watching some shows recently, and they just ended, and new shows are going to start, like NCIS and everything around it. Oh, and Bleach next thing, but that's a tip for later. Anyway, uh, some of the shows that I do want to leave you guys with that I uh, that I did watch is I'm going to name two. The first of all, Better Call Saul ended. Oh. Like, yeah, period. It was it was a good ride. It's a really slow show. It has really, yeah. It has slow slows, but once the tension is up, it knows how to deliver. It knows how to keep you seated. I'm not just talking about season six. This is like the whole show. It's like very. If you know Breaking Bad, you might know some of the characters. It, it, it is some good shit. It's, uh, it's a really fun show. From yeah, what I've heard. Yeah, there, there's like the lawyer stuff, but there's also like the drug cartel stuff. And the drug cartel basically is the uh, more popular. This is amazing. But season three, episode five. Holy heck! Holy spark! The that was such a good moment. And then the other show is a different, pretty different. But it has like also a, a star cast. It's pretty. The story is pretty Kingdom Hearts, e. So maybe Tony would like it. It's called Westworld. Oh my God, no! You know the show Westworld? Yeah, I've, okay. I've heard of it. Yeah, people have yeah, told me about it's, it. But but it's really good. Uh, it's about okay. So the first season, it's about a giant park. Uh, where you can basically be in a video game. It's not, they never specify video game because it's real. But they got like robots as NPCs just walking around. And you can do whatever. Uh, you can be, it's a Westworld, so it's in the Wild West. So you could go to the saloon and uh, have fun all night, if you know what I mean. Or you could go on an, uh, a fun quest that is written out. It's it's like that. It's like a giant MMO where you have uh, peop, uh, people and NPCs. The NPCs can't kill you, so you could basically be the gunslinger that you always wanted to be. And those robots, they are like state of the art. They're pretty cool. And the story goes about uh, two people in the park and some behind the scenes thing. And it starts slow. And then as f like farther into the show, season four just ended. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, yeah, all shit breaks loose. It goes from zero to hundred in a few episodes. I hope it's not like Game of Thrones where, you know, it ended poorly and everyone was like, oh, it sucked, man. Don't even watch it. it. And it's Well, you know. I do got to say that how season four ended, I, it didn't feel like it felt like a cliffhanger because it was but it didn't feel like the end of a season it didn't feel like the epic yo what's gonna happen next time oh okay so it's like you know one and done you know just completely i guess 
Yeah. Um, but like, can definitely recommend if season one definitely doesn't have the better call Saul syndrome, where it's like really slow. Why do you keep laughing about that? <laughs> the better call Saul syndrome. <laughs> no, it it, it is like pretty like high f- velocity from the get go, and it doesn't really let go. It's like, you know, if something is very slow, like a speedrun is slow, they're going to be like, oh, it's the Better Call Saul Syndrome again. Like, <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, but uh, yeah. Um, I mean, is that it? Do you have anything else you want to add? Yes. And I can uh, I can also recommend this bet that you can only use by slapping Tony. I don't see a bad, but okay. I guess we'll um, we'll put it in post nah, d- d- somewhere. D- d- no, I'm just kidding. D- d- just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, one thing I wanted to add in my tips, which I just remembered, uh, BSG Marathon actually uh, mentioned something really great, and anyone can participate if you do want to go ahead and you know you have a fun idea, anything, a show or whatever, you can actually submit your ideas to sprints at bsgmarathon.com. So. Feel free to get creative, you know, with whatever that may be. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, you should definitely submit stuff. I don't know if we're going to do the podcast there, but you, you never know. You never know. But uh, the, the, yeah, it, it, it's it's gaming content. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's basically it's basically hot fix, but less. Uh, it's basically GDQ hot fix, but a little bit less than that. I don't know how to compare it without. Yeah, it's it's different. I don't want to be yeah. the bad guy because I don't want to be. It's just if you no, like, you it, know, it's not even restrictive. If you like something different, you know, if you don't just want to watch speedruns and you want to watch, you know, I guess semi speedruns or s- something, <laughs> you know, gaming content that just doesn't it isn't, you know, just it has to be marathon. it has to be speedrun adjacent, but that's it. Yeah, pretty much speedrun adjacent, just not like, you know, your typical, oh, annual or monthly event. Uh, it can be, you know, something in between. Something that maybe, you know, like if you want to showcase anything that has not been shown to a marathon, for example, or a, a monthly event, you can do that there. So get creative. Um, I, I yeah. will select Tony. Hey, man. That like ASMR it. could have been a lot better if it was audible. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's fine. I, I'm, it's okay. I'm, I'm not. Okay. Anyhow. Yeah, we do want to thank you for watching this. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> just, just a little bit. <laughs> like my, my pants is a little bit wet, but fortunately, oh it's God. it's quick drying pants. We do want to <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I, oh. I I'm still recalled, I guess. Uh, with me is the Greek Tony. Uh, where, where, where do we have to like that way? Not that way. <laughs> Tony is in here. You got the Greek and Reek podcast, you know, yeah. syndrome. I'm Greek. Where you don't know where the, to point. <laughs> that is the Greek. Yeah. And that is the Reek right there. Yeah. And the, uh, I guess yeah. there's some water, but I'll, I want to clean it up. Uh, hopefully, the next one won't take however long Forever. it took. Yeah. Months months of planning but yeah. yeah we want to thank you for watching thank you so much for hanging out uh if you do have any ideas or any sort of feedback you want to add maybe topics we could cover at future you know um a future episodes you can always join our discord server if you've not done so um of course you know we can also play uh together if you do want to do that sort of stuff you could uh anyone can join and anyone can host whatever sort of uh you know i guess Dude, session you want to who wants who wants to play with us yeah if you want to play with us you may have a chance um i say may but uh, i'm pretty sure yeah everyone just you know <laughs> anyway but um, yeah definitely join our discord server uh we will uh most definitely update whenever there's a new episode there and of course uh follow reek um, and also his YouTube channel because that's where you can get the latest and greatest of the episodes. Uh, so yeah. Oh, and, and don't forget Tony. Yeah, me, I guess. Hate, I, hate that I, guy. I also exist sometimes. 
<laughs> yes. Anyway, okay. But yeah. With that, have, have a good rest of your weekend and the week. And forget her. Uh, forget her. Don't forget to always smile. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.